Thank you for choosing my channel again. I appreciate you coming and spending your time to watch as well as learn or just enjoy and pick up a little bit of knowledge that you may have not already known prior. Um, this In this video, I'm gonna be giving ideas um, on how to get more book sales. I'm gonna um, share information uh, that's vital to becoming a best-selling author. Um, some people, you know, might say, well, are you best-selling? Something like it. Um, I'm a viral author on uh, the Wattpad app. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, what that is, is... Um, it's an app that people can come and read for 100% free. Um, and I started my ecstasy series on Wattpad. And um, that's how, you know, I have an idea of how to, you know, become best selling as well as, um, I don't know if you can, let me see, if you can see now might be backwards, but it says viral author here. And um, that's also one of my flyers. I'm gonna get into a little bit down the line. So um, you may have written a book and you say, well, uh, like I did when I wrote my first book in 2014 and had uh, self-published it, put it on Amazon. It's titled Bad Women of South Central LA. And I thought, okay, awesome. I got a book. Um, I put it on Amazon. And you think automatically, because you put it on Amazon, boom, you're just going to get book sales and you're going to become best selling without doing any marketing, any advertising. And that's where um, I was wrong. And um, I'm, you know, trying to figure out what, you know, can I do besides um, sharing my book book link in uh, Facebook book groups um, so um, that's where I created uh, flyers to start off with and some of them you know you can laminate and put them up like that just depends on you know how much you're willing to spend you can get them in color or you can do them in black and white um, I did this one time because um, I figured, you know, a lot of people have Kindles nowadays, and if they see this, you know, they'll see, oh, free, you know, read for free, you know, with Kindle Unlimited, that, you know, so this helped me, help my, help boost my sales just a little bit. Um, I think it matters where you um, advertise that helps your book sales. Um, and here's another idea for advertising that I created. You could buy shush kebab sticks and put your website or wherever you can be located easily, you know, um, Facebook or wherever have you. I choose my website because I figure if, you know, I send people directly to my website, they're able to have a look at all the other um, books that I have available and um, this is another idea that you can do um, for local businesses that you frequent um, like for me I frequent beauty supplies and um, you know so you can you know approach the stores that you frequent it could be a uh, um, anything, maybe even the library, maybe you're friends with the librarian, um, you know, or you know a librarian personally, or, uh, barber shops, or, you know, um, maybe even some of your friends at work, you know, ask them to put this on their desk. This is actually a photo frame, and it had a slant back, so what it, it does, it sits, you know, like that. But my kids sat on it and broke it. So, 
Um, yeah, this is an idea. You can, you know, ask other business owners in your area, hey, you know, can you, you know, give them, you know, a little initiative. Money always helps. So you can tell them, you know, hey, can I give you five or ten dollars to let my advertisement, I mean, you can put um, your website in here. It doesn't have to be, you know, in this format. It can be you know how to get to your website it could be a catalog you know um in here and you can say hey you know can i give you five or ten dollars to um let me advertise you know my website of books in your business and you know some business owners should be willing you know and they you could tell them you know hey the more money i can make the more money i can come and spend in your business so they might be open to it you know it just depends you know another good idea is to ask maybe you frequent the laundry mats in your area you can ask them hey can i put you know my flyers in here or you know um maybe even my books in your you know um showcase you know in your glass showcase and they can you know buy them from the from the laundry mat you know people like to you know uh do something to pass their time you know this is um another one of my books it's um street fiction urban series um titled ghetto diaries and it can be purchased on amazon through my website this is my first romance series this is the second part to it which also can be purchased um from my website or amazon okay so more book selling ideas and strategies um marketing ideas perhaps you know you might have not have known or ever even heard of before that can help you um let me see sorry looking at my notes um so um what what a lot of authors, you know, do, even myself, sometimes, you know, get discouraged and say, oh, well, heck, you know, I'm not getting any book sales. I wonder if I'll ever be um, able to become bestseller. Um, you know, to me, don't give up the fight. Just keep writing, keep writing. Some ideas um, to be able to become bestselling are... Um, putting skill books together, like um, selling, you know, a skill that you have, whether it's in finance, you know, a lot of people read about, you know, how to improve their finance. Maybe you know about stock trading, maybe you know about um, anything, you know, how to budget your money better, um, uh, how to, you know, maybe you're awesome in the real estate business and you can you know give pointers on that so skill books um i have are known to you know make authors become best selling um a lot of people want to figure out secrets on how they can ditch that nine to five and you know possibly earn a living and you know make a good chunk of change off of writing you know an awesome book so skill books and um maybe children's books um you know maybe disney might want to pick you up or something like that um i was just hearing that my cousin uh you know is uh had wrote a comic or um something like that in australia and it's really big and now disney is looking at trying to do business with him so um a good idea I, as i mentioned in the very beginning was uh to me all authors should have their own website because not a lot of people are on facebook tons and millions of people are but not a lot of people care for facebook so getting your own website is a very very good idea um and if you are on Facebook, Facebook is a very good way also to advertise and to do free advertising. You can pay to advertise 
with YouTube, you can pay to advertise with Amazon, you can pay to advertise basically on any social media platform, Twitter, um, even Amazon. Um, the reason why I couldn't advertise with Amazon was because they say my book cover, Ecstasy, was, you know, too much here. So, um, I guess sexually explicit. So, they didn't, you know, uh, approve my ad. So, um, it depends on, you know, to like your budget. If you have enough money, you can um, pay uh, the shade room a thousand dollars and they'll um, advertise for you for that thousand um, dollars. Let me see, I have a couple of them numbered here. Okay. Um, so yeah, in your free time, you can join so many book groups on uh, Facebook and advertising those Facebooks, that's free. Um, do it in your free time. Maybe super early in the morning before you wake up. Maybe any time after 4, 5, 6 o'clock whenever you get off of work. Maybe 8, 9 o'clock. Some people like to read before they go to bed. And, um, you know, get some flyers made up. Go post them in shopping centers. Um, I personally like to post my uh, flyers at libraries. I go to libraries in different cities. I go inside the library and I just leave stacks of my flyers inside libraries. I'm not encouraging everyone to do that. It is best to try to go to the librarian, manager, uh, whoever's in charge. Ask them if, you know, possibly you could hold your own book sign in. Um, maybe, you know, even post your flyers up on their poster boards. I've called librarians. I've asked so many people in different cities to call me to see, you know, could I do these things? And they never got a call back from them or heard from them ever. So that's when I figured, okay, well, I'll just sneak my flyers in here. <laughs> maybe something you want to do too to help book sales. It helps um, me get free downloads on um, Amazon actually so if I, I suggest go to as many different cities as you can depending on your budget you know how much you can spend on gas money to be able to do that you know um, like I said I even put up my flyers on bus stops you know train stops I catch people at the train station they're reading already I hand them a flyer here here you go here's something you know you can read check out so, um, let me see. And feel free, if you have any ideas that I didn't mention in this video, feel free to leave any suggestions that you have below in the comments to help um, out other people as well. And last, I'm saving the best information for last. So, um, some people say to, well, you know what? I'm going to go with the freeway first because not everybody has money to pay $1,500, um, $5,000, $10,000 to hire a PR firm, whatever they charge. Um, and some people are like, what is a PR firm? Because that's what I was wondering when, you know, I was doing my research on how to get more book sales same you know information that you're trying to learn and a press release is what pr stands for excuse me there's some lint <laughs> stuck on my lip um so a, a pr firm is they specialize in press releases and you can get a press release um you know Put together yourself you can do it yourself depending on how much you know free time that you have so with the press release um what i did was i went on youtube and i looked up how to you know create a press release and i watched tons of videos on how to create my own press release and um that's what i did i put a press release together typed it up it shows you how to format you could type in in youtube too how to format a press release 
um, I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of exactly you know how to put together a press release when you watch the different videos take notes so um, you know you can put together your own press release um, and when you put your own press release together it'll save you a ton of money so um, in doing that I also learned that you can become best-selling say you have um, a network of good friends and families very supportive um, all you need what I'm hearing is all you need is anywhere from 10 to 25 Amazon reviews on your book um, between the first and second week that you put that you release your book and um, you know that's not a, a huge number you know and it'll help to keep your book you know in Amazon spotlight um, I'm not sure you know how long just depending on uh, what um, I want to say genre that you that you're writing in um, and you know depending on the readers that you have so um, when you create this press release after you've created your press release what you want to do is contact the local newspapers your local news stations and um, you know email it to them Google you know their email addresses it's so easy to um, find you know these uh, email um, of the newspaper editors of you know TV um, you know you can go on Twitter and find out their information and send out your press release um, this is a free way that you can get um, a mass um, you know attention for your book and that'll possibly you know uh, assist you in becoming best-selling author um, say you have um, put together your own book signing at a library make sure to include in the book uh, in the press release I'm sorry the date of your um, book signing and maybe the news you know call them bug them ask them you know hey are you guys gonna come out you know I got a story for you you don't only have to just email these these entertainment editors because you definitely don't want to uh, be emailing you know like find the correct editors um, that are like you know um, that mesh very good with what your book is about you know maybe it's a finance editor if you decide to write about finance maybe it's um, an entertainment editor um, maybe it's it just whatever you know matches with your book because you don't want to like get in touch with the obituary editor you know for your book because um, it doesn't you know mesh you know those are two different type there's so many different types of editors and you just want to uh, get in touch with the correct ones so contact and bug the news stations contact and and bug newspapers magazines um, maybe doing on maybe doing stories on something similar to what your you your book is about you know and um, you know the that you might just get a ton of media attention for your book and tons of people you know all over every uh, tons of different states maybe even national maybe you have you know um, connects with editors that you know personally you know that could help you out you call them up hey I got a story for you, you know can you do a story tell them possibly you know do a story on your life story you know maybe you you know had a very rough life and you know you've started your own publishing company as I have or you know something you know that's just very interesting and they may do a full story on you and then you'll be become best-selling good luck um, please hit the like button if you've learned something um, that you didn't know before or you just in enjoyed my video please share my video um, tons of authors need help and 
Um, I'm a publisher as well. I wanted to share the knowledge that I know. Um, not a lot of publishers want people to know these secrets, but to me, it should be shared. You know, there's enough money in this world for everybody to have a piece of the pie. So um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. Um, share it. Um, I appreciate your time and um, leave me some comments, maybe, you know, um, some questions in the comments and possibly I'll do another video on, you know, answering your questions and I'll try to, you know, give